the title of ultimate rock, paper, scissors champion while making a positive impact in our communities. Learning Together is hosting an event that will help support equity and inclusion in early childhood development. And Executive Director Kyle Reese is joining us this morning to tell us more about this. Kyle, thank you so much for joining us. Uh, thank you very much for having me. Of course, this is so exciting. Tell us about Learning Together and the programs that you are providing for children and families. Yeah, absolutely. Learn Together has been a part of this community for 50 plus years. Um, we, what I would like to call us is the United Nations of early childhood education. <laughs> we are a super inclusive uh, childhood center where we have children of all abilities in our in our school. We have children that come with developmental delays, that come from uh, social and economic backgrounds and challenges. And the biggest thing that we try to do is we're intentional about bringing all these kids together in one classroom. And we feel like when you bring those kids together, things happen, magic happens and everybody becomes one. And it really helps build the community that we have in this in Raleigh. Oh my gosh, I love that so much. And uh, rock, paper, scissors, we've been talking a lot about that. Uh, the showdown kicks off next month. Explain this head-to-head -head competition. What is this? Yeah, I think it's, 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 it's adults having fun doing the playing a children's <laughs> game. Um, it's something we've been doing now for 13, plus, almost 13, I think this is year number 13. And you, you really just get us together and we play rock, paper, scissors, right? And, and you would think it's really, you know, it's rock, paper, scissors, but everybody gets into it. The funniest thing that happens is our teachers win every year. So then you can tell the people who hang around children are the ones who play the game the best. <laughs> and, and that's been the thing. So it's a super great event. Um, it's growing. It's growing. And we did it even through the pandemic. We actually did it on Zoom during the pandemic. Oh, wow. And that was successful. So to be back in person here for the uh, now the third year post pandemic is awesome. And it's just a great opportunity for people to come together and, and really support this cause. I love how it's been so successful. Uh, me and my colleagues here at WREL, we're also going to be a part of it this year. So I'm looking forward to that. I heard. Uh, I, we are, listen, we are so excited. How can <laughs> other people participate and get involved? Absolutely, just it's open to all. Uh, so I think anybody will will send the link is out there and you can just join in, bring a team of four. We, we hope to have as many people show up. And even if you don't want to come and play and participate, just come and be a part of the, the atmosphere and the energy in the room uh, and learn a little bit more about learning together and, and hear some great stories about some of the families and that we've supported and helped over the last this past few years. But just come be a part of what we're doing here in Raleigh and supporting um, early childhood education. I love that. And Kyle, where can people go to learn more information? You can go to learningtogether.org um, and go in there and click the tab, sign up. Uh, again, you can even just contribute and donate. Even if you don't want to have a team, you can donate. So it's all out there online and we look, we're looking forward to anyone who wants to come out and have some fun with us. I love it. Kyle Reese, thank you so much for joining us this morning. I look forward to meeting you next month. Thank you. Have a good one. Of course. And you learning together's uh, Rock, Paper, Scissors showdown will take place again March 2nd. You can find more information at learningtogethersalsalabs.com.